So yesterday I made a video on how the best team in the game is currently the demon team of Chandler and I got reminded that Escanor completely bypasses that best team in the game because the whole purpose of the team other than the taunt to protect Melee is that you're lowering the enemy stats quite a lot with Zaldrus plus Chandler lowering every time they attack and guess what Escanor doesn't care. So let's just plow some Chandlers. I just climbed to champ one and every match I faced was against Chandler. So hopefully now in champ one, I'll continue facing them and hopefully winning every single one. Well, fifth in a row, of course. Um, so, ooh, I mean, I have Melly and Askenor here. I was hopeful I would be able to uh, defense lower. But uh, obviously, Melly has a higher CC than Ludosiel, so maybe I should have just gone for Chandler. Hmm. Melly is not going to do mu much. My Melly, even though it's level 2, because he has such low health. But hopefully, we'll still finish off. Nice. Good enough. Good enough. So, I was thinking, right? Um, you know, I played yesterday that video. And I was thinking, what are like the actual top best teams in the game right now? Because I think right now the, the best team in the game is Full Demons. I think the second best team in the game is Melly, Red Galfer, Summer Merlin. It's probably the, the second best team in the game. Third best team in the game, I was thinking either Unknown with Nanashi in the back. So you throw in like Philo, Merlin, and Echidna. Uh, maybe you could substitute one of them, but you know, the basic, uh, the Unknown team. And then what? Like, either that or, like, Fraudrin. But Fraudrin gets ultra-cocked by, like, this team. Like, the Chandler Melly, bro. Nice. I've been getting, like, quite a bit of disconnects. Uh, they disconnects. Uh, ooh. Goddess Liz Merlin. I've been seeing so many Goddess Liz's, man. And it makes sense. I think right now she's in a good position. But it's kind of funny. Like, that's a character I would never think would return. Because her stats are so bad, right? Her stats are so bad. But it makes sense in a way. Um, yeah, I was thinking fraudulent team. And I lost my sentence because the guy quit on me like that. Can I double kill here? Please? Nice. Okay. Yeah, Goddess Liz may make an interesting comeback. I I've made true Goddess Liz videos in the past like 10 days. And I think I can, like I could actually make more. It's kind of crazy. I'll, I uploaded uh, today. Goddess Liz now for me, like double revive. But I was actually thinking of doing Goddess Liz with DN Melly, like an ult rush that you, you have to like, you know, kill the, the one of the characters, but they're going to revive type thing. So it's like pretty... Um, Pretty tough if you mess it up. I'll we'll do this. Just make space. And get the ultimate. So it gets pretty tough for you to deal with. Um, I might do that at some point, but my L is about to come out, so I'm probably gonna be stuck with uh, doing my L. And I was really thinking as well wouldn't it be hilarious? Unlikely, but hilarious if the best my L team uses Goddess Liz and not Light Liz. I, bro, it would be hilarious, I think. I kind of hope so. Only because it would be funny. Like, she doesn't have, like, she has terrible stats because she's such an old character. Just seeing old characters in, like, current teams is really funny. Like, Ludosiel, I'm using him right now. And he's old. Like, Ludosiel was the first character to ever come out that I was super wrong when I about him. When I read what he did, I thought he was gonna be garbage. Um, I was I was so wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong very often, but he was the first, so it's very memorable. Um, and I don't know if it was because I was so wrong. It was the worst shaft I've ever had in this game. That's before guaranteed. It took me like seventeen. 100 gems, I think, for my first copy. Horrible. It was the worst shaft I've ever had in this game. But going back to the topic, if you guys could help me with my list, 
I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow. I'll just, you know, use the top five teams uh, back to back. Um, I haven't done one of those videos in a while. Where I, I haven't the. There was one video I forgot to record when Mali came out, which is using every single character's, every single festival's best team. Uh, I need to do that. I think after my all comes out, I'll do that. And, uh, like, those videos are fun because uh, it takes me a long time to record them. So when I put them out, it's pretty cool. Okay, I was kind of scared. I wouldn't hit most crits. Like, I have, I have Ludo defense lowering. But whenever I use Ascular now, I actually just use, what's it called? I, I use uh, Merlin Link for the crit chance. Okay, this guy is Ascular. I, I want to face people using proper demon teams. Where's the Kusok? Where's the Chandler? We face one, so that's good. But, you know, max lower just to impose the fact that my Ascular doesn't care about it. That's, that's the whole point here. But if you could... Uh, just from playing the game, what do you think are the uh, some teams that are really good and maybe don't come to mind as much as, uh, for example, like the demon team comes to mind? I think also, you know, Askinor is really strong, so it, it's really sad that I don't include him on my top three best teams in the game. But it's just that Askinor is just like a random character, like he doesn't have a team. He's just a good character, which unfortunately in this game is not a good thing. It's really unfortunate. It's really weird, right? We started getting a lot of characters over time that want to fit into a specific ram, a specific team. And that makes so if if a character doesn't fit in, bro, I, I want to get an extra Ascanar card. I'm ke I keep getting this card, which is a terrible card to go after these two because Mali wants the enemies to have max HP, right? Uh, you have the Tarmiel link, so... Let's do this. And hope... Those two cards will kill Philo. He probably has dodge, actually. Yep. Damn. Um, now I'm a bit scared, actually. I think he's gonna full wipe me. Oh, thank god. Oh, man, ask... I... I haven't been really using Askler much because of that. Like, he doesn't have a team. And if you don't have a team, like a specific coordinated, like, formation, unfortunately, you're just not as strong as characters that do. Like, unlike, for example, you know, I, um, I'll play, like, Epic 7. And uh, in that game, there is, like, a, uh, like, specific team building as well. But a lot of the times, it's like, okay, this character is good, so I'm using him. This character is good for this situation, so I'm using him. More than like, okay, I'm making a full a team of X characters, like it is in Grand Cross, right? Which is a way of, you know... In, I feel like there is pros and cons. Like for Grand Cross, a big pro is that if you're free to play and you just like playing demons, you can just only summon on demons and your team's gonna be good. Like it does reward people that have more planning into the summoning uh but it's really harsh on people that you know end up missing banners like if you missed bro can... what is this i swear if i move mileage to the left i'm not gonna get this card if you missed let's say esterosa how how are you gonna run demons you know what i mean <laughs> I guess he came back, and you could... Could you have bought him with coins? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if he uh, didn't make the cut for coin purchase on the uh, end of year banner. Don't recall at all. But, you know, if you missed Asterosa and you couldn't get him right from his return, how the, how the hell are you going to build demons? You, you can't make the team, right? So that, that's a con, for sure. But I guess there's that with, like, basically everything. Right? Like, if you don't have Ludusiel built, you can make a team like what I'm doing right now. Which is, uh, just making Ascanor Giga Chad big damage, turn one. So that he ignores, like, the super tankiness of uh, demons. Because that's, that's the, the goal here, right? Just ignoring the super tankiness of demons. Which is incredibly annoying. 
at this stage. Like, it's been so long. So I've been, I've been craving, like, Mael to bring up goddesses. As much as I don't really care for goddesses in the anime. I just want variety. I kind of I kind of want... To be honest, we're the, after we're done with this, this global anniversary, right? Mael is going to be the festival. I really hope next festival is Chaos Arthur. And I know it's like... Oh man, Chaos Arthur is from like the end of the manga. There's no way they're gonna drop it. Bro, the one ultimate is in the game. You know what I mean? Like, the, there's no higher than the one ultimate. The one ultimate is the peak form of the series. Like, it's. It, like, true magic melee is like on that level. But, like, bro, in terms of like form, that's that's it. That's it's it, It's freaking Ascanor, his full potential. It's like, I think it would be sick. If we could make, like, you know, Askenor be in the top three. It doesn't have to be number one best stream in the game. Just be top three, right? And, uh, bro, I I think one match I got the extra Askenor card. Just be top three. If it's top three, I'm happy, right? You know, have Askenor top three with Chaos Arthur and, like, Purgatory Bond. Like, it doesn't have to be an HP based team. Purgatory Bond can still work. Like, his, his blue card is really good. The heal and the increased HP is really good. Yeah, your attack lore doesn't work on my man here. Okay, w what's wrong with the people in champ 1? In champ 2, I think... I mean, the week reset a few days ago, actually. Today is uh, Tuesday. It resets Sunday. I thought by now, like, the... The good players would have already climbed from champ 2 to champ 1. But I guess they're waiting for the end of the, the week. I guess the players that I was playing champ 2 were the champ 1 players that had, you know, deranked from the week. God damn it. Well, I just want the Chandlers. I want to smash that fat... <laughs> the fat belly of his. I'll tell you, the one like sort of unfortunate thing about having a meta like this that we have right now... Is that it's really hard to use, like, not good characters. And obviously at any given moment, the, regardless of the meta, if you use, like, a not-so-good unit, you're not gonna have a good time. But... It right now is really tough, because the teams are so dialed in. You know what I mean? Like, I tried recording the other day a Blue The One Ascanor team. Um, which obviously he's not very good anymore. And boy, <laughs> I'll tell you, I couldn't couldn't finish the recording. Like he, you can't like this team that I'm facing right now. The Chandler Zaldras team attack lowers you so much. Like blue Ascanor level threes. First, they they don't crit, right? You won't. Like, he doesn't have enough crit chance. Second, even if you do crit, you're going to, like, 50,000 damage. Because you're being attack lowered so much. I hate tanky metas in every video game. I hate them. And a lot of people like it. A lot of people like playing tanks. Like, if, um... For example... For my FPS players, right? I know I don't play Overwatch, so I'm just gonna say Apex. I play a lot of Apex. When I played, my class was Wraith. She's nimble. She she's Naruto runs. Her whole kit is about being fast, right? That's what I like. I like fast. I, I like when I do big damage and I leave, right? This is bullshit of like taking. 15 turns to end the match. Like, what is this? That's why I absolutely love Askenor. Askenor, every Askenor that has ever released in this game has been peak. All of them. All of them. You know, we don't get many Askenors. But when we get them, they're always peak. They're always... Do I trust? I think I have to. Okay, let's, uh, let's do like this. They're always peak. You always get a unit. I should have trusted. No, he has Tarmelik on Askador, not Mali. What? Wow, that's weird. That's really weird. 
Ascular usually gets uh Oh, that's almost 60. What am I doing? Um Forgot I was talking about. <laughs> old brain. Anyways, <laughs> that's Oh actually forgot. Oh yeah, that's why I love Ascular, right? Every Ascular that has ever come out had amazing design. It's all about going in, doing big damage, and leaving. Right? That's peak design. There's no reason why a match shouldn't be decided in the first turn. It doesn't have to last one turn. But it's like... I should know from the first turn, alright? How much better... <laughs> my team is what my chances are right if you face like an unknown team you can squash their dps in the first turn but then their nanashi with their awful super tanky passive is gonna make not only the match last forever but if they just get super lucky with cards they're just gonna get a bullshit win i hate that i like when I just go in, do big damage and leave, but, you know. I think everyone that has been watching me knows that. Anyways, Miss Askenor, I hope he comes back to meta. I mean, I saw... Honestly, today, in this recording, not earlier, but... We faced quite a bit of Askenors. Pretty happy about that. Still mostly melee, and then Askenor in the back, which, Sag, but... Mostly... It was like half and half, so not mostly, but like half and half, that's pretty good.